Well, Donald Trump claims to have come up with the close to half a billion dollars uh, to post bond in his civil litigation fraud uh, lawsuit that's in New York. It's, it's kind of amazing when you think about it. I mean, people felt sorry for him. He was asking people to donate 20 bucks, chip in 20 bucks if you can to help me out. And, um, and here's a story all of a sudden that Donald Trump has found, scraped it together, just, you know, piggy banks, everything. He scraped it together, folks. The half a billion dollars in cash as fraud bond deadline is looming. He's managed to pull together almost half a billion dollars to pay his eye-watering appeal bond owed to the New York State after he, he and his companies were found liable for fraud. This is according to the Daily Beast. So Donald Trump is, um, you know, just never misses an opportunity to bash Judge Engeron, calling the tr judge the Trump-hating judge, right? I mean, this guy just hates Trump. Just just must must hate him. You know, it can't be anything that Trump has done, you know, that's wrong. It's just that he hates me. I've done nothing wrong. <laughs> he says, Donald Trump says, through hard work, talent, and luck, I currently have almost $500 million in cash, a substantial amount of which I intended to use in my campaign for president. Boo-hoo. So, I mean, what, where did he get the money, do you think, folks? You know, and uh, all sorts of people have come out and said, you know, he's got a lot of friends in high places, a lot of friends that have money. Why don't they come together? And, uh, and and chip in, you know, and help the poor guy out. Why don't they just chip in? I mean, my God, think about it, folks. Just last week, we had the ex-Treasury Secretary, Steve Mnuchin, was out there talking about TikTok, you know, just salivating at the opportunity to buy TikTok if a, if a fire sale was forced, right? If it had to change hands, according to that stupid legislation that's in the Congress, you know, if, if it had to change hands, Steve Mnuchin was there to buy it. And by the way, they think TikTok is worth $50 billion. So here's his, one of his good buddies out there said, you know, we want to buy TikTok, you know, just salivating over getting, getting their hands on that algorithm that has made TikTok so successful. And he can't even come up with half a billion dollars to help his buddy Trump. I mean, it's sort of sad, right? It's sort of sad. It's a... So Truth Social, folks, here's where you might have found the money. Get this. True social merger has been approved, giving Trump potential source of cash. Shareholders of Digital World Acquisition Corporation, DWAC, approved a merger with former President Trump's media startup on Friday, teeing up Truth Social's stock market debut and a potential $3.5 billion windfall for Trump. So this is a long-delayed merger between the Blank Check Company, also known as a Blind Pool, and Trump Media and Technology Group received regulatory approval from the SEC last month. So there you have it. I, I'm sure he levered, leveraged some of that $3.5 billion windfall that, that might come. And, and seriously, I mean, True Social is is not worth it. You know, I, I see this as, as sort of like a... Uh, uh, possible shorting opportunity here. I mean, just sell right on the bell. Bing, gone. <laughs> I'm out. I'm done. You know, and if he can get three and a half billion dollars out of that, good for him. I mean, that's that's probably where the money came from. So there's also this news, folks. Did you see this that came out? There's a new transcript that's that's out, and this is coming to us. I think it was first reported by the New York Times, but this article is from the UK's independent. It says Trump threatened Pence and phone call before January 6th riot. New transcript shows just came out today. And a White House valet who was with former President Donald Trump on the day Congress certified his 2020 election loss to Joe Biden told the House January 6th select committee that Mr. Trump threatened then Vice President Mike Pence's future political viability in a phone call just before Mr. Pence was about to preside over a joint session of Congress to count electoral college ballots. According to a transcript of the interview of the unnamed White House valet, the valet overheard Mr. Trump telling Mr. Pence, Mike, this is a political career killer if you do this. As the two men spoke by phone while Mr. Trump was in the Oval Office, the valet also told investigators that he heard Mr. Trump tell Mr. Pence, do what's right. 
and said Mr. Trump's voice at the time indicated that he was disappointed and frustrated. So not long after that call, Mr. Pence's office released a statement in which he announced that he would not make any effort to block certification of the election. Good for him. I mean, this whole thing, folks, and I've just jotted some notes down here. I mean, this has been a master class in Trump manipulation, this whole thing about the rigged election. Donald Trump used the lies of the rigged election to create a sort of false credibility. You know, I'm the rightful president. They've stolen this from me trying to create this false credibility. Then he used senators, congressmen, and congresswomen, literally anyone that was willing to, to say it into a microphone, especially Fox News, to parrot those lies of a rigged election to reinforce his credibility. They backed him up. Trump then took that cachet of credibility, and he used that to incite the January 6th riot. And then afterward, after all that, that writing was done, he elevated the narrative that the January 6th insurrectionists are patriots and then sort of dangled this election carrot, promising to pardon them if he got elected, reinforcing their patriot narrative. I mean, it's a master class in manipulation. This is how he does it. It's sort of an ignorance is bliss mentality of his followers, right? Just ignorance is bliss. And that's how he took advantage of all this. Although you could argue that Fox News lost credibility when they were sued by Dominion. Remember that? They, they were sued and they lost in that multi-million dollar lawsuit. That sort of cracked the credibility. And I mean, it, it hit them hard enough to where they're like, you know, what are, we, what are we doing backing this guy up? And we get dinged. You know, we get dinged for backing stupid, stupid lies. And how does that work? I mean, it's, it's always the case with Mr. Trump, right? Mr. Trump, the amazing Mr. Trump, it's always the case. Everybody gets dinged but him. And all of a sudden, right now, he's facing accountability you know, in the silver fraud lawsuit and, you know, he's crying, whoa, you know, this is, this is unusual punishment, you know, and un, un, injurious and unusual. It's, it's terrible. And, um, I don't know, folks, it's, it's just, uh, it's just unbelievable, but yet a masterclass study in manipulation, if I ever saw it in my life. 